Emily Cole is the co-owner of the Savannah Bananas, the baseball team that has taken the sport by storm. Emily, welcome to Game On. Thank you so much. Happy to be with you guys. For those who don't know, what is Banana Ball and how did it come about? Banana Ball is a faster, more exciting version of baseball. We have been very fortunate to have front row seats to a lot of baseball games, both with teams that we've coached and played on and, um, you know, we, we've owned and run teams earlier in our, our career. And we were seeing the same things. People were coming late and leaving early. And we were confused by it because people don't leave events that they're entertained at early. And so we were on this mission to create something where people would leave wanting more. And so we just, we, we worked on the rules and we made it a more exciting version of the game of baseball. So a lot of the things are the same, but a lot of things are just sped up a little bit and more exciting with a lot more music and a lot more dance moves. <laughs> it's such an interesting perspective. And specifically for you, what is your role with the Savannah Bananas? Jesse and I are very hands-on leaders. Uh, we hear from people all the time that they're surprised we're not up in an owner's box somewhere. But for us, this is our passion. This is our, our lifestyle. So we are constantly in it. My role changes year to year. Um, I try to be kind of the pioneer that goes into the unknown. So whenever we launch something new or test something new, I'm usually one of the first ones there to kind of lead the charge and figure things out, figure out the messy. And that way, I feel like once we've kind of gotten our hands dirty a little bit, I'm able to hire more specifically for that role in the future. Then we find, you know, the best person to come in and take over that role. And then I kind of lead on the next year into the next new thing. So my role is always evolving, but primarily it's in the operations, logistics, people type spaces. Well, this team is doing so much more than just baseball. And I'm curious for you, does working with the Bananas feel completely different than any other team that you've worked with previously in baseball? It is. It's a, a complete 180. I worked in minor league baseball for a number of years and was disappointed often at the corporate feel of things. We were constantly trying to get approval from, you know, our parent club or somebody's agent or something. Right. And we heard no a lot more than we heard yes. And so that was one of the things that Jesse and I struck out to do was create a policy free, you know, fans first type environment where it was like, hey, is this better for the fans? Yes. You know, that's how we make all of our decisions. And so it's really lifted that corporate type feel. We, we really try not to have any red tape and just give people the autonomy to, to have fun and do the right thing. When you were starting this team or thinking about starting this team, why was the gut instinct to do the unexpected? Because you guys are definitely doing the unexpected. Yeah, I, I, honestly, we just listened to our fans and listened to what people were doing. You know, our our attention span as people is just, it's gone out the window. You know, you can be attentive to something for like two seconds now. And so we were just watching what society wanted and what the fans were showing us at every ballpark across the country. They, they come late and they leave early. Right. And so why not just watch what people want? You can do surveys and you can ask for feedback, but the truth is there if you just watch what your fans are doing. And so that's what we really just tried to pay attention to and then give them a product that we thought fit with what their habits were showing. Well, you're certainly giving the fans what they want. How did the players react to this? Were they on board? Were they looking for more of a traditional baseball experience? Yeah, I'll be honest. In the beginning, when we hired a choreographer and said, okay, before you're taking batting practice, you're going to go with the dance instructor and learn some <laughs> dances. It was not an all-in type attitude. Uh, people were definitely hesitant at first. But you get a couple guys who are not afraid and who, out, who go out and do the dances and they own it. And then those are the ones who are signing all the autographs at the end of the game. Right. So then, of course, a couple more want to do it and a couple more want to do it. And pretty soon, they're the most popular ones. And so... You know, if you just follow that mentality, the guys are out there. They want to entertain and they want to have fun. And they see that they're the ones that are going to be able to go famous on TikTok or whatever. Totally. So, um, fortunately, over the years, we really have had this buy-in, all-in mentality from the players. And so while it was difficult in the beginning, now that our brand and our culture is all about that, it is right. all about putting the fans first and entertaining always, those are the only type of players who reach out to us, the ones who are already comfortable because we've been so 
you know, we shout from the mountaintops who we are. We're so clear on that, Mm -hmm. that those are the type of people that we attract now. So we have thousands of players every year trying to get on the roster and they all know what they're signing up for. Wow. This is so interesting. I want to talk to you more about it. Don't go anywhere. We will be right back with Emily. Emily. 